Hello, my name is Ricardo Cunningham and I am the founder of LCF Kids. LCF Kids is the adult and fitness center located in Fall Church, Virginia and Ashburn, Virginia. We work directly with children with disability to help them accomplish their gross motor skill goals. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to do intermediate dynamic balancing using a balance beam. So what you want to do is to have all the equipment, which is the balance beam and a weight involved. So what you want to do is to start off, have them walk forward across the balance beam. You want to make sure they're in a ready position, center the wall, the ball, the weighted ball in the middle of their chest, but also make sure they out, um, sit your, your feet one in front of the other. And then as they go across, you want to remind them to keep their head looking straight ahead and make sure they alternate their feet and keep the ball center in front of their body and walk all the way across the beam looking straight ahead. And then once they finish that, you can get into the next segment, which is to do lateral movement. It's the same thing with the weighted ball. You wanna make sure it's center in the middle of your chest and then remind the child to look straight ahead. And as they move laterally, just remind them not to cross over their feet and have them go across in both uh, direction, going to the right, and then you want them to move back to the left. So this way they will lead with both sides, the right and the left. And then the last thing is to do backward. Same thing, you want to remind them, keep their head up, set their feet into a ready position, and alternate as they move backward, not looking behind them, but also remind them to keep the ball in the middle of their chest. What I recommend for all these steps is to assist the child if necessary, I would recommend staying within close range, especially for backward, which is a little bit more challenging, especially if the child's starting out for the first time. Also, in my book, Adaptive Fitness and Gross Motor Development, I have a lot of hands-on technique, how to minimize the skill to make it for everyone so the child will have success at what they're doing. Please subscribe and share and like this video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.